24 million adults suffer from food insecurity. Wow, Americans suffer food insecurity. Food insecurity in the richest country in the world. Many families are facing potential hunger. Really? Americans are hungry? Food insecurity is not the same thing as hunger. Rachel Sheffield researches what the government calls food insecurity. Turns out it doesn't mean hunger. It means that they had to rely on cheaper foods, store brand alternatives to name brands, or that they had to reduce the variety. The USDA admits it. For most food insecure households, the inadequacies were in the form of reduced quality, not insufficient quantity. The government's food insecurity numbers come from a survey that asks questions like, did you ever cut the size of your meal because there wasn't enough money? From that, the government claims 33 million Americans live in food insecure households. They always want to create a crisis. Yeah, government programs tend to want to keep themselves going. As a result, their handouts harm the very people they're meant to help. Before government's war on poverty began, Americans were lifting themselves out of poverty. Once welfare checks started, the poverty rate kept dropping for a few years, but then progress stopped because handouts encouraged people to be dependent. Our government did something remarkable. It created a new class of dependent people. And now government twists itself into knots to perpetuate that by calling even obese people food insecure. The New York Times used this photo in its latest report on vulnerable people suffering, waiting for food stamps. Americans are consuming too many calories rather than too few. And adults labeled food insecure are more likely to be obese. The nation's obesity epidemic is growing. So activists promote another myth. Poor people are overweight because they can't afford to eat healthy. That's why they eat junk food. You know, junk food is cheap. But that's another myth. Healthy food is actually a little cheaper. Yeah, there's this widespread belief that junk foods are more affordable, but things like chips and cookies, soda pop, fast food, those are actually relatively expensive sources of calories. They sure are. We compared the cost where I live. Healthy food like oatmeal, peanut butter, bananas, and eggs cost much less per calorie than a McDonald's McDouble or Coke or chips. Don't give me that horse that eating healthy is, 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 is expensive. It isn't. Go to a supermarket. They're throwing the vegetables at you. This comedian gets it. McDonald's is the reason why I'm out of shape. I would have got a salad, but you didn't have the option. So I was like, well, I guess I got to get 52 Big Macs. This community went 10 years without a place for folks to buy good food. Michelle Obama promoted another myth, food deserts. She said eating healthy is much harder for poor people who live in what we call food deserts. Her claim got lots of play. If a mom wanted to buy some fresh fruit for their kids' lunch, <coughs> that means she would have to get on a bus. But so-called food deserts turns out to be a government trick. When officials designate them, they deviously ignore small businesses and food stands. In the neighborhood where Michelle Obama gave her food desert speech, even the New York Times reported that this man was selling food out of this truck. He sold healthy food like blueberries, onions, cucumbers, sweet potatoes. He wasn't counted in the government food desert surveys. But the media still talk about food deserts. For one in six Americans, good food is either too expensive, too far, or both. The media find deprivation everywhere. The new victims are college students. About 60% of undergraduate and graduate students are food insecure. Its studies show most students gain weight in college. It's bizarre that when obesity is the much bigger problem that activists and government hype food insecurity. But of course... That creates the rationale for expanding food assistance programs for expanding the welfare system. Providing people with access to nutritious and affordable food. Expanding the welfare system seems to be the government's main goal. The federal government, which runs the SNAP program, announced an increase in SNAP benefits. We've spent more on the war on poverty than all the military wars combined in the United States without any success. Actually, it's been a success in one way it increases dependence on the federal government. So the handouts are good for bureaucrats who dole out the money and politicians who get to sound like good guys.
They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. Yes. But these programs promote dependency, which hurts people. What politicians should promote is what Denzel Washington promotes here. Hard work works. Remember, before welfare, working was lifting people out of poverty. Work also has a lot of other benefits. It builds a greater sense of community. It gives people access to resources, friend networks that can help them improve in their lives. Working really hard is what successful people do. Encouraging self-sufficiency is so much better than pushing government aid. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date on all our new videos. Let me know in the comments section below if there are any myths you think we should cover next.